Good morning. Another day. Some more treasure hunt bookshelf. Another. <laughs> I was talking to my daughter last night about how I had been doing these lives. <laughs> I was like, it's it's interesting because this is the uh, same part of my weekend. Like my less stress is coming live. And she said that it, that was really interesting because most people would probably be really stressed to go live. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she and I both agree that it's the least stressful part, <laughs> which is, uh, which I'm okay with. Hey, you're here, but isn't it like midnight? <laughs> I really do want to figure out a time when I'm getting oh hi okay puppy my lap is not really available to you I've got a friend say hi put your face right here oh okay um he just welcomed himself on my lap this is my mother's dog who's staying with me until tomorrow um okay i don't need you in my face but thank you i'm trying to stitch and you're not helping <laughs> no you're not <laughs> okay well that's that's only 11 hours difference in perth oh See, so this is like a really good time for many of you Australians, but not all of you. Okay, hi. How many time zones? Is there just one? Is Australia one time zone? I mean, you've seen big enough that you have multiple time zones. But I don't know too much. I just need to figure out. Okay, yeah, so you do have multiple time zones. So somebody um, was messaging me, who's also in Australia, and she was like, I'm going to bed. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> okay, I don't want you in my face. I need you to go over here because I'm here to stitch, not pet the dog. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. I gave... I gave them attention, so you would think that we'd be okay, but nope, apparently not. I don't even know where I'm at now. Okay, chill out. No, that's where my puppy lives. Go lay somewhere else. We're fine, everyone. We're fine. You have four time zones at the moment. Okay, so basically like the states do. You're just like 12 to 14 hours ahead of me. Three over winter. Oh, so you have one time zone that doesn't change? Okay. I guess 13. 13. This is math, 13. Okay, if it's almost nine, that's 13 hours ahead. And if it's almost midnight, then that is 16 hours. Okay, okay, I really need you to not be on my lap. Go over here, go find a different place to lay. Oh my gosh. Puppies. 
they are not helping this. I've got limited time this morning. <laughs> I need to get my stitches in. Okay, I know. I know he's crowding on your space. I'm sorry for that. <sighs> it's like having children right now. Um, and my other dog comes back this afternoon, so I'll have three dogs. And I feel like that's going to be chaotic because my other dog loves, well, I shouldn't say that. She either loves or hates dogs. And I'm hoping that this will turn into a love. <laughs> and otherwise, it could be a very, very interesting time. Hi, puppies. And yet this is still the least stressful part of, of this weekend. Okay, so yesterday I finished this section, which feels really good. And I'm going on this new section this flower bunch looks like it extends all the way down here oh oh puppy excuse me kiss let's not fight you can play but you can't fight no don't oh my gosh <sighs> This is chaos, okay. We can handle chaos. I'm not petting you, stop it. Okay, Jack, this is not okay. Oh, hey, Josh is up, go see Josh. Okay, I'm gonna go let this puppy out because he is, not help. He's back. He's right here again. He's back on my lap. Come here. Come here. Josh, can Jack be with you? Can I call him? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. My brother woke up, so he has the other dog, and I have my nice, calm dog who knows how to behave. Oh, okay. Whew. Now I'm going to recollect myself and... Yeah. And we can talk. Um, except I don't have any topics. Is anybody stitching? Ooh, somebody like yesterday posted about a stitch along they were going to do starting January 1st. And I really don't need to start more things. But it's, it's something that is, like, on my wish list. And so, I'm tempted. I don't own any parts of it yet. I would have to do all the ordering, but... Apparently, if it's related to something that I already have. I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll start something new. Except I feel like that's just stress me talking and that normal me 
would not like it if I started something else. I'm trying to... I'm trying to have less projects. Prairie Life Sampler. I've seen that one. But it's not coming to mind. It will come to mind, I'm sure. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen that one. Misery. Hi, Chrissy. You are just one hour different from me. <laughs> okay, well, you, you have a dangerous situation with your LNS. I mean, when you're, when you're going to be there all the time, it, it's going to, <laughs> you're going to get to see all the things and I've only been to one LNS so far. But it was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to going to more. I really want to be able to get like two more stitches from this thread. We'll see. Prairie Life is a heartstring sampler reader. Okay, okay. I do know the heartstring. Um, ouch! Ho oh, ho ho! I just poked myself. Um, style. I do know the heartstrings style. Wow, like that, like went into my finger, but at least it's not, it's not bleeding. It just hurts. I think it'd be fun to work in an LNS. The one that I went to, um, <laughs> it, it wasn't even local to me. Um, I was in a different state and went and it was this cute older lady who was working and <laughs> she was so sweet. It was fun to talk to her. Except I do already want to stitch like all the different designers. definitely haven't stitched nearly as much as I want to. Well, of the different designers. Um, oh, 1978. Oh, I hope it I hope it's a shop that can keep going. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. I'd hate to see it have to close all the way. I always it's it's always so easy to find needle point shops. And less, like, ones with cross-stitch things. And I, maybe it's just because I'm entrenched in the cross-stitching world and not the needlepoint world. 
um, it just seems like there should be more cross stitching than needlepoint personally. I'm sure needlepoint is wonderful. I've just never tried it. Go here. I miss Pip. Oh. Well, we're all still in the weekend, even you Australians. You're finishing your weekend. The rest of us are somewhere in the weekend still. Um, <laughs> weekends to me, I don't know, I never have done, I shouldn't say that, I don't often like go out and do weekendy type things. I homeschool my daughter, so we, when she's with me, we're really busy doing like homeschool stuff and appointments and her dance classes and things like that. And so when she's not here, it's like, oh, we can, like, I can do more stitching. I can, I don't know, usually that's when I do more of the house cleaning. Hi, Sylvie. You have many cross-stitch patterns and kits. Of, yeah, my, okay. Um, so Rivka, my, the closest store to me is uh, like within 20 minutes, but it's a needle point. Like they don't have anything cross-stitch. There's no cross-stitch patterns. All their, they might have some threads, but it's only because, you know, Needlepoint has those kind of threads too. It's, it's really nothing about cross stitch. I think the closest cross stitch store itself is maybe an hour and a half away. I haven't looked up to see exactly how far away it is, but an hour and a half seems about right. And I live near the capital of my state. I mean, it's not like a huge capital compared to other states. But, it, and, and that's the only one. It's, it's just the one store, unless something has opened up that I don't know about. But that's why I usually end up just ordering online instead of like going in somewhere because Cause it's easier I'd love to support the little places but I just need to find an LNS that I can like order from I guess <laughs> and get it shipped otherwise it's usually one two three stitch for me One p.m. in the UK. Yeah, I know. I I feel like at this time, so it's eight a.m. where I am. So 
a fair amount of the states are probably still sleeping. Although Chrissy's here from Missouri. We've got the afternoon for the UK and we've got the like evening night time for the Australians. <laughs> Sometime I'm going to do an evening, like my evening, um, I've had a lot of requests for an evening live stream. So that would be no UK people because they would be sleeping and Possibly Australians, it'd be like middle of the day for them. Have I made any plans? <laughs> Not concrete. I. Okay. So I go back and forth on this about starting pieces or not starting pieces. I know that having a lot of projects that I can't realistically touch or like reasonably get to, um, like stresses me out. It, it makes me really sad, I think is what it is. And I feel emotions like really big. And yeah. But, like, I want to get these things started, just, like, I want to start seeing them come to life. And that golden kite one, man, with all those blended threads, that's going to take some time. But I really want to do it. Um, in other words, I don't have any definite plans yet. Um... Yeah, I think I want to see how many projects I can get finished before the end of the year. I, one, two, three, there's three I know that I will finish. There's a fourth that will be really close. I don't know that I can get any other finishes besides those ones. And then I'm wondering if having like more of those finishes, if I'll feel like it's opened up enough for me to start more things. I'm tempting you to try Tencent. <laughs> I, it is faster. Um, just not everybody's brain can wrap around 10 stitch and that's okay. It doesn't work for everybody. But I think, yeah, with the golden kite with Rivendell, it will, it's probably going to be 28 count. Because of the blended threads, it has to be two strands. And I love 28 count, two strands, 10 stitch. <laughs> it's kind of my favorite. But I do feel like I need to have like a definite setup for the golden kite because of the blended threads.
and I probably won't be able to really think through this until the Christmas season is done. It's too many things that like are taking up my headspace and my like time and. can't organize I can just stitch <laughs> I also have I mean like because it's Lord of the Rings right my Lord of the Rings plan is like a decade long I mean it's gonna get finished but this might be eight years from now Which is another part. I think there's a part of me that is like, it considers Rivendell as part of my Lord of the Rings wall. And I see the Lord of the Rings wall almost as a whole. And so I only want like one piece from that going at a time. Which means I would need to finish um, Frodo and Galadriel before starting something new. And Frodo and Galadriel is not going to be finished until 2025. Which means Golden Kite or any of the other pieces couldn't start until then. Unless I change my thinking. Good morning, Peroska. You've been able to come quite a bit. A free weekend. That was always nice. You'll stitch with me. Yay! What are you going to stitch on? It's on Golden Kite as um, a home in the mountains. You have all the Lord of the Rings patterns I have. Okay, it's on Golden Kite as a home in the mountains. Um, and sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. So if it's not there, just kind of check back every once in a while and it comes back eventually. Oh, Sylvie, that's a good, that's good. I don't know why it goes up and down from their site. Um, but it does. I also, I talked about this um, yesterday, but uh, golden kite patterns are expensive. And what I did was um, they have like this deal thing where you buy three patterns and you get them like 30% off or something like that. And so I, I got the Rivendell piece and then added like two of the very cheapest golden kite. They're like two bucks or something like that. And, and so I ordered three patterns two of which I have zero intention of stitching and I can't even remember what they are. I think one is like a super blurry cat. And um, and even though, and getting those two extra patterns, but with the 30% discount, it still made Rivendell cheaper than like getting it on its own. So that's what I did. I 
It just brought the cost down just a little bit. They also have like a deeper discount page and I have seen Rivendell on it. Um, it was like a few weeks after I bought it though, so I didn't buy it that way. But it was even cheaper to see that way. All right, Peroska stitching Christmas presents for your family. You finished a reindeer and a sock, and you'll finish your second sock now. Yay, that's so cute. I've never stitched Christmas presents before, but I really admire people who have. I mean, Sylvie, it is worth it. it it's it's a lot of money, but because they're, they do like the blending and the the time that it takes to chart that. I'm sure it's worth it. Good morning, Deborah. Debbie. Good morning, Debbie. It, it's so sweet, Taroska. I love it. I think I I think I just can never decide. I don't even have like that big of a family. I have one kid. Just need to make sure you stitch it in your life. <laughs> yeah. That's why, like, with the charts that I have, I'm acquiring more full coverage pieces. I, I, I think in terms of, you know, a decade out. Because that's, I, I'm basically booked up on my full coverage stitching for all of that time. And so if I add anything else in, I know it's going to shift all of that thinking. <laughs> Yesterday finished this section down here. You can you can get far on just six hundred stitches a day. <laughs> Hi kitty. Okay, well, if I went into siblings and parents, I have six siblings and my parents and then, like, nieces and nephews on top of that. So, I do have choices if I wanted to go all out like that. You're okay, puppy. Good girl. You just finished watching Alaris. I haven't watched it yet because it's usually during this stitching time that I watch floss tubes. But um, if I'm live, I obviously can't watch it. But I saw that she posted it. Well, I hope that we are good company. Hi, Alicia. Good morning. We're on the earlier side today. I say earlier, it's 8.30. My, <clears throat> my plans today got um, changed without my consent today. And... So I'm 
doing what I can with it. So we are here earlier. <laughs> and I won't be here as late as I was the last couple days. You were watching hers until <laughs> you, know, you saw I went live. Aww. That's... You can come for some chatting and then go back to hers. I know we've got Australia here. Australia's evening. We've got some nighttime stitchers here. We've got afternoon for all the UK and, and European countries. Hi, Catherine. Good morning. And we've got some like earlier mornings. Because we've got some central time here. Aw, you're winding down here. Thank you. Winding down is hard for me, so hopefully I'm helpful for you. I could sing you a lullaby. I don't, I'm not ready to sing. I shouldn't say that. What I'm hoping is that I have enough time to get a good portion of my stitching goal for my bookshelf done this morning. We shall see how that works out. I, I'll be able to stitch on other things throughout today. But um, this is not portable, so <laughs> I try to get it done in like one chunk and before moving on. Good morning, Samantha Moser. Do you go by Samantha or Sam or Sammy? There's a lot of Samanthas. I'll try to keep your preference correct, but Ooh, is it the magic study that is the purple version or the rainbow version? Yeah, I'm glad you were able to get on, Rivka. <laughs> okay, I cheated, Peroska. What I did was I used these thingies. Um, <laughs> because it started driving me crazy. Um and it made a difference. So I, I still need to do it the right way because I really don't like what this can do for my fabric. It kind of warps it. So I just use one of the magnetic things to uh, keep it on. Good night. <clears throat> I shall... Do what is in my capacity to do so. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> I 
I do feel like I cheated, but at the same time, I know it's a legitimate, like, solution, so. Okay. You go by Samantha. Okay, that'll be helpful since it says Samantha. I'll, I can... Purple version of the Magic City. You only joked about it. <laughs> I'm good, Perosca. <laughs> I do feel like I cheated a little bit. Um, the magic study is fun. Um, hmm. I just stitched those three stitches in the wrong spot. I, I have other side tensioners that are like the clampy kind. I wonder if I still have them. Maybe I got rid of them because I don't like them. Um, but they're like metal clips things. I didn't like those. But using these ones sometimes, I just got them off Amazon. I use them quite a bit with my Q-snaps and holding fabrics and stuff. Um, for Rivendell, I got the standard size blended version. Um, I looked at all the mock-ups and decided that because there's a lot going on in that piece with all of the... Um, right here still somewhere here it is um because you have all the details with like it's it's such a big scene right you've got all of these trees you've got all of these waterfalls coming down but you also have like little people here here like this is the fellowship on this bridge and so you know, what's a girl to do? Like, you need all the detail. Hi, Katie. Oh, I just put my needle down where I was just frogging. That was not the smartest thing, Suki. And I'm clearly not afraid of, like, the sizing thing. I mean, I stitch a super size every day. It's it's cool. We're good. Um, but, yeah, if you look at the mock-up, you'll see that, that you start losing a lot of that detail when you have tiny things. And, really, the larger size, it's only 346,000 um stitches this is your size 700 by 495 for a total of four or 346,500 stitches so to me that's reasonable for a full coverage considering uh, this super size is a 722,000 stitches And because they do blended threads, that makes a difference to whether you get the blended thread option or not. It's so fun when I um, started talking about my Lord of the Rings while like so many of you guys are are loving it and getting those patterns too and we're going to do all the Tolkien stitching. There is a hashtag out there that is um, Tolkien stitch. Yeah, Lady Stitch a lot uses that one. 
Are we going to do a sal with Rivendell? I know Megan um, messaged me. Like, I just bought that pattern. She was so excited. Um, it's a good pattern. I really like it. I really like that my Lord of the Rings wall has multiple designers in it. And it's even going to have some like smaller charts in it that aren't full coverage and are like they depict other scenes and people. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> I'm so excited for something that's going to take over 10 years to see to completion. But who's counting? Oh, my finger just felt there's like a little bump in my 310 stitching right there. I wonder if I can get that out. If not, the eye doesn't see it. Hey, I got it. You'd love to do a Rivendell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody wants to do Rivendell. I'm sure we could plan something um, to at least start it. I can't promise that it'll get more than like a thousand stitches a year, but if you need to rush over and grab yours. <laughs> oh man. Well, Chrissy just was looking at buying it this morning. So and Sylvie has hers and Catherine you're looking Alicia if you go and grab it see if that like buy three get it 30% off deal is still there and if that's the case yeah. Hi. Puppy. if that's the case Add that one and then like the two very cheapest ones to your cart. It'll still be cheaper than getting the pattern on its own. Maybe this would be a good, let's see. My birthday's in February. Um, maybe we can do it in February. It's in 96 days. <laughs> um, that would give people time to get fabric and stuff. and figure out how they want to deal with their blended threads <laughs> if they're doing a blended thread version. <sighs> you guys need to stop giving me ideas. <laughs> I say that, but... I love it at the same time. Like, do I need to start another full coverage? Um, no, I really don't. Will I do it anyway with all of you? Yes, I will. <laughs> and I'll love it. Of course, your birthday's in February, Alicia, because we're finding out all these things that are similar about us. I really want to stitch a Teresa Wensler. 
just for like the fun of it. I have no problem with blended threads. They just, you just have to deal with it differently than like regular stitching. So I just need to prep a little bit more than I might otherwise. That's the version I'm doing, standard blended. Talking about ideas that you guys keep giving me. <sighs> and and giving the people what they want. Family takes precedence, I feel like. So you're good. Um, I was driving with my daughter last night. Um, it was kind of late and I was tired, but her birthday is on a Monday and she has dance classes on that day. And she assists in two other dance classes also that same day. So I told her I would tell her like the adults, <laughs> that it was her birthday and she's like why would you do that I'm like so they can have everybody sing happy birthday to you <laughs> in all the classes <laughs> and she said um she's like do you understand how like awkward and embarrassing it is to just stand there while everyone's singing to you it's like the most embarrassing thing she's also turning 13 so you you've got all of that teenage emotion coming out right I'm like I can think of more embarrassing awkward things like having your face on a t-shirt and she's like what I'm like Alicia wants my face on a t-shirt and I told her all about Suki goes on tour and how that morphed into tour shirts and and how y'all want my face on a t-shirt And she's like, I need that shirt. I'm going to message Alicia and tell her that it needs to happen. And then I'm going to message Alara so she knows that this needs to happen. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to, like, we need that. And then she said she was going to wear it for Halloween. Like, really? She wants my face on a shirt and wear it for Halloween. That's not. I told her that was rude. Fantasy trip to, I like that one. I've seen it. Although I think I like a lot of the Teresa Winslers. Oh, hi. You're okay. You're okay. Your sister fell in love with it. Well, how could you not? Like, I think because she does all the blended, that she can get all the detail in that, in a smaller stitch count. Do you want to go out, Miss Pip? I was looking at the, what is it, patterns online for 
at Teresa Wensler's. I don't know that I would stitch more than one. And so I'm, you know, if you want to stitch all the different designers, you kind of have to be really picky about which ones. <sighs> and Teresa Wensler's take time. I don't know which one thing I would choose. Oh, I like the portraits of night and day. I know. Yeah. English cottage. Yeah. I like a lot of her fantasy style ones. Rapun oh, the Rapunzel one. And I've seen someone stitch up the Cinderella one. Three hundred and eighty days. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful. <laughs> they take time, but so does like all the other projects, so. We love our craft, don't we? <laughs> We're totally okay spending years on a project. Kitty's getting introduced to Teresa Wensler now. All I can really say is having not stitched Teresa Wensler is that because she uses a lot of blended threads, you have to be okay stitching blendeds if you're going to stitch a Teresa Wensler. You just bought two Teresa Wensler patterns. Uh, the only thing about Teresa Wensler is her dragon ones. They're harder to find. Um, I don't know the reason, but I know that she took them down off of patterns online like a long time ago. Or well, maybe not a long time ago, but it's been a good couple years. Um, and I don't know why, but you can still get those patterns, some of them anyway, in other ways. So now you're over a year in to stitching again. Um, if you want a smaller, easier kind of way to do blended threads to test it out, um, the gold collections use blended, Mirabilia's use blended. They're not that sense though, I guess. I'm trying to think of a designer who stitches kind of smaller patterns, 
but uses blended. Because I don't think a Teresa Wentz would be a great introduction to blended threads. It could be very intimidating, I think. Inspiring, Catherine. It's inspiring, not enabling. Come on. <laughs> but yay, you got the Rivendell pattern. Was one of the cheapest 30% discount patterns, like um, a cat. Because <laughs> that's the only one I remember. <laughs> I literally looked up, like, what's the cheapest and added those. <laughs> inspiring. Yes. Elsie, you've been doing blended threads for a really long time. It's a fun thing to delve into when you're eight. I think blended threads are f like fine because I already stitched with two threads. Um, they just take a little bit more time in the preps part like to thread your needle to find two different colors and then thread your needle it just takes a little bit more time but the actual stitching of it is fine it's a half stitch embroidery style i like that I've not done lots of, I mean, I guess embroidery is kind of all encompassing. It's, it covers a lot of different styles. Okay. Um, so I just got, uh, a canvas kind of like that like this where it's printed on like that um we're gonna play i'm gonna play around with colors but i've never done anything like this okay yeah i've never done anything like this um before so it's going to be fun to like play around with the colors and choose what it what to do The, um, like the wooden, the wooden frame thing that you like tack the canvas to. Okay, yeah. It's something I don't have because I've not ever gotten into any needlepoint things.
yeah, it's like a really stiff kind of a um, thing, canvas. This one is anyway. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, since I've never done it before, but I, I wanted to try it out, um, like having something printed on it like that. I like trying things out, so... We'll give it a go sometime. Your grandmother did not have wool threads. Oh, sewing machine. But yeah, you'd have to use a lot of those. Oh, it's a passed down craft. I love that. I love that a lot. I, um, the person who sent that to me said, like, you can just, that I can just use, like, a, like, DMC colors, and I'd be able to blend that, too, which I hadn't considered. Probably shouldn't try to do that, like, on the first time I try it, but who knows? We'll see. It could be fun. I mean, it's a unicorn piece, so it's it's fantasy already. I really admire that traditional embroidery, too. Again, have not really done it. I think because, you know, I like doing complicated things. Like, I like it to look nice. And I don't know that you can be a beginner in embroidery and do complicated things. <laughs> Not like delving into full coverage patterns and, and just following what it tells you and it, and it turns out nice. All I'm working on this morning are these flowers, but look how they're coming in so nicely. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. They're just red flowers. That's what I call them.
it's true enough. Um, there's not a lot of younger people doing. I mean, when you when you look at any kind of the stitching arts. I think I, it feels like it's growing to me, but it could just be because of our community. Like with floss tube and things. <laughs> I love this artwork so much. I say that a lot and it's true. I like seeing whatever it is that I'm going to be stitching on come to life. And in a piece like this, 600 stitches makes a difference because there are all of the little details. other pieces that are like sky for days or background for days <laughs> like the test did my stitches even make a difference in this case it does you can see it I'm 234 stitches in, but this color that I'm pulling right now is the first like ninja stitch of the day. That's not bad. It is really motivating. Um, I started posting daily on Instagram because I wanted to see from day to day that progress. And there would be times when I, like, especially early on, I would scroll through my pictures and just, and see how that, like, just happened, like, with regular stitching. I think someone just knocked on my door. Yes? Oh. <laughs> um, we don't have anything planned other than what's going on in the evening, right? Well, state conference and parents. Huh? State conference. Oh, yes. Parents are coming. Theoretically. Okay. Mini Thanksgiving dinner. All afternoon, everybody's going to be here, okay. and then this evening. So, yeah, it's basically booked. Okay. You just got to hear all the plans today. Um, it's so many stitches, but it, at the same time, like, I'm going to put the stitches in. Whether it's one project or like 20 projects. 721,000 stitches with almost all background. Wow. This piece is about that size, but it's definitely not that much background. I Background though, some people really don't like to stitch on a lot of background but I feel like it can be a nice change of pace. Like whenever, whenever you can stitch a lot of one color, that feels nice.
A Wooded Path in Autumn by the Crosstitch Studio. I figure that if I love an artwork, I like that's what I like. I fall in love with it as a whole. And it's hard for me to then like crop it down or to or remove parts. But it's a whole scene. Um, for some reason, okay, a wooded path in autumn. A wooded path in autumn. Let's see what it looks like. Eight, nine, eight. Oh, those are pretty colors. I mean, without all of that, that's beautiful. But, but yeah, the lady is so little of it. It's almost like the leaves are the focal point and not and not the lady on the bench. I love it though. It's one of the reasons I like going out into nature is to be surrounded by things that are like bigger than me or that are just outside myself more than myself and that's that's the feeling i get from that picture is it's it's it's, bleh, it's a reminder that there is so much more than like just ourselves I love it. <sighs> Two, three, eight. That's good. Calming is always good. Is it the only one that you're stitching on, Kitty, or are you, do you have like a variety? A big variety. <laughs> well, that's that's how you don't get tired of of the one piece. You fall into the rabbit hole really. <laughs> um. 
I did Stitch Mania this year, um, and I really wanted to have a different piece to stitch on every day of the month of May. And so I went from having like six or seven pieces to I ended up with 34 by, well, 33 at the end of Mania, but 34 like the next week. <laughs> Uh oh, Alicia, you went browsing. Browsing is dangerous. Coming home. This one. That's kind of like the one Kitty was talking about where it's got lots of background and then you've got some people. Oh, this is a cool feature. It says notify me when the price drops. Um, so what what is nice about that is because they've got, um, I think it's this, their weekly sales. Um, it's, they discount it up to 50% off. So it's, prices here have been reduced by 20%. And then if you get three or more patterns, you get an additional 30%. It came to me. You weren't looking. <laughs> um, so that's a cool feature that you can say, notify me when the price drops, because that's like when it goes on that weekly sale. Vibrant bouquets. I've not stitched on a cross stitch studio piece yet. I don't have any of their charts. I haven't really browsed yet though. I just see when other people post. Sometimes I see their releases on Instagram. You're going to do that. It's a it's a it's a good feature. I like it. I like that, that that they offer that. Okay, well, Alicia, don't tell me when the Cross Stitch Studio has a sale. Don't do it. Only sale in the year right now. Kitty, I said don't tell me. I told Alicia not to tell me. Alicia likes to tell me when there's sales. You bought another four charts. I'm pretty good about not buying things. I, I really am very realistic about what it is and and I have plans for the next 10 years of my life thanks for taking the heat off <laughs> especially when it comes to full coverage like I I am I'm good on full coverage for a long time <sighs> And any, anything that I look at buying, like, has to be good enough to change those, 
decade plans. <laughs> I bought that owl forest embroidery chart, Alicia. I did do that. It's it's easier when it's not a full coverage piece. And sometimes when it's a designer that I've already, like either I already am stitching or already have a pattern for, it's easier for me to, to wait and not buy something else. I don't know if I'm going to get to my stitch count today. Oh, my time is running out. I did, I got the forest one, the enchanted forest. And next time I see, well, I don't know about next time, but I feel like in future sales, the rest of that series are like potentials. Cause I like that, that whole series. Oh, maybe I need to switch to some block stitching somewhere to see if I can get my goal done today. That's like a single color. That's not block stitching. But I need to get that one. I did not buy from the Luca S sale though. I looked, took a deep breath and closed out. <laughs> I think I saw that one, the, the, because that was really pretty recent. Morning, Jen. Do we still have Chihuahua puppies around? That's what you did with Lucas. I do want to try Luca. I mean, I, like I said, I want to try them all, but um, I just couldn't right now. Always, always the Chihuahua puppies. when my daughter was little, we would read um, Skippy John Jones, who's a Siamese cat, but like 
thinks he's a chihuahua. Not enough time. It's true. It's not. We want all the things. I'm going to live forever. I don't remember the next line. Na -da 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 -da. Same. That's in there somewhere. Oh, maybe that's before. Same. I'm going to live forever. People. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I should not sing songs that I only know one line to. Hi, Erla. I'm going to learn how to fly. I'm always surprised when I'm like, actually get all the words out to a song. That, that means my brain is doing well. Dun, 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 dun. You just make them up as a, my sister makes up lyrics until she learns them. I don't like making up lyrics. <laughs> So I do a lot of bebopping, I guess. We'll call it jazz scatting, except not in the jazz style. Have I tried? I have not tried Peacemaker Needles. Um, I really have only tried Bohens. It was the first like non-kit needle I had used was a Bohen. And I liked it so much that I just bought more. I'm actually getting low again, so I should go buy more. Oh. They're shorter. That might not be a bad thing. I feel like bowhens aren't that long. I do know that sometimes the different needle brands, like the eye can be different on the different size. This is a size 28, I think. Um, and I can still use two strands in it easily. There is a line with people. I feel it coming together. Yeah, that, that sounds not at all familiar to me. But I, I, I'm gonna live forever. I'm going to learn how to fly. I feel it coming together. People will see me and cry. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to remember that, y'all. So 
<laughs> I know that's what I was thinking was that the shorter needles would be better to like when you have to do thread chicken. Well, when I get to buying needles, then maybe I'll remember peacemakers. Or I'll sit there and remember, we talked about this. What was the details? I don't know. Lyrics from Spotify. Spotify for the win. I think it's just been a long time since I've listened to that song. Just like there's a lot of patterns, stitching patterns in this world, there's a lot of music. One, two, three. my stand for this piece and i only use this stand for this piece it's a permanent setup um is k's creations stowaway stand the rods are also from K's creation. They are custom cut. I gave them the width of my fabric and they did their thing. And I got school rods that work. <laughs> um, I, I do use a modified setup with the K's creation stand in order to accommodate both sitting on the floor and the much longer um, scroll rods. If I didn't have this stand, I would probably look into using my Lowry potentially. And, and looking at the, the large, oh, Jen, you just bought it. What is it called? The large, um, the scroll rod attachment thing for the Lowry. Or you can get two Lowry stands, one for either side. I don't think I would do that because I would want, like this is, like I said, this is like a permanent setup. So it's easy for me to sit down and stitch my 600. And then my Lowry is free for adapter. Yes, scroll frame adapter. Um, I would probably look into something like that if I didn't have this stand. Grand guards, yeah, clearly I, I don't, I have not bothered with grand guards. I probably should for some pieces. Like this one, I'm like, I'm going to wash it. It'll be fine.
Ooh, Clara got the frame adapter too. Well, you'll have to let me know how it works out. Because that's something. When I got my Lowry, I just wanted to see how I use the Lowry and then see if there was anything else I wanted for it. I'm interested in the desk clamp a lot. I think I'm going to get that one. For sure. I said I think. I think I'm going to get it for sure. That would be I know I'm going to get it. Girl, I don't know the measurements. I'll, I'll try to remember that. <laughs> it's, lo it's long. I don't know how long it is. People ask me how long my, my scroll rods are, and I'm like, I have zero idea. <laughs> I have to measure it every time somebody asks me. I should keep a measurement like sticky note somewhere i think i think the two lowry stands is brilliant for like 200 dollars, you have a stand for large pieces that you can also use separately it's super adaptable it's brilliant Um, well, I don't know the width of my fabric. I bought it in many years ago. <laughs> uh, I really will have to get a measurement. I will measure. Just not right now. Probably not even today. Because once I get off of here, it's because people are coming and I'm not ready and I need to practice their songs tonight that I'm supposed to be accompanying for and there's been like zero practice with the people um definitely one of those it's fine we're fine everybody's fine situations That's Kitty. That's what I'm wondering is, um, is the adapter, like how long, like how, how big of a piece does it really work for? This is only the only set of scroll rods I have. I don't have any other scroll rods, but I've considered getting other scroll rods. For some of my like smaller full coverages. Okay, Jen, I will, I will message you. No, I said I was going to look at block stitching and I haven't done that. I want to finish this diagonal. Your scroll frame is 32 inches wide. And it works for that. I've looked at Omenix so many times. They're definitely the ones I'm drawn to the most. There was another one I was looking at. Lock scrolls, I think. I can't remember if it was lock scrolls. I am happy to inspire. And... Now you have a beautiful Rivendell pattern. 
and I we now have a start <clears throat> in February. <laughs> We're planning ahead. Nothing like celebrating a birthday. No new starts in 2023. Well, <laughs> this kind of would prevent that, Catherine. <laughs> Unless you started it before and then just like continued it. You're sending all your old skull rods and Q-snaps to Alara. That's awesome. Hi, Rainy. Well, honestly, I'm only 280 stitches in. However, I know I won't get to the full 600 live. I just don't know when I need to stop. Oh, it's 9.38. Hmm. Hi, Sharon. There's no late. It's just you're here. That's all. No new starts is not going to happen. Rivendell is. <laughs> No new starts except for what you start, right? Good morning, Sonia. Hello, thanks for jumping on. Even if it's briefly, thanks for saying hi. I was excited when I first got on, I had I had some Australians. Like it's hard it's hard to get on early or late enough for the Australians. And New Zealanders. And Washington, you're like 6:30 over there. Hi, Don. I feel like from 9.30 to 11.30 is like really good time for a lot of people. Although I haven't done a lot of afternoon lately. Except for 24 hours of cross stitch. I keep waiting for the 20, uh, whatever next year is, 2023, uh, 24 hours of cross-stitch dates are so I can get them on my calendar and, and hopefully be able to do them. Hi from the far exotic lands of Lancaster. <laughs> Wait, is it Lancaster or Lancaster in, in Pennsylvania? Which way do you say it? Aw, Sonia. If you get it, enjoy. There is a Facebook group, if you're on Facebook, um, there's a Facebook group called Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. It's not like super, super active, but 
um, it's a nice little collection of treasure hunt bookshelf. Lancaster. Yeah. Okay. Lancaster. There's there's a one in Ohio that I think is uh Alicia is at Lancaster. <laughs> Lancaster. Lancaster. Now I'm overthinking this. I don't know. I just know that different places say it differently, so. Somebody just posted in the Treasure Hunt Bookshelf group um, where they're at. And it was so fun because they are they have the first two shelves done as well and they're on the third shelf and they're like kind of right into here it was really fun to see that we were in almost identical spots she's just slightly further along than i am i i tried to not look too hard at what their um at the details so I can still be surprised at all the details that that I'm going to be stitching your supposition is that the UK folks would pronounce that right um yeah I, I can see that Lancaster Lancaster yes okay Ohio is the Lancaster and almost everywhere else is Lancaster Lan, yeah, Ohio. I knew you would know what it was. Oh, for sure. I would not do multiple bookshelves at the same time. Like, I'm too dedicated. Oh, wait, no reverse that? Wait, so does Ohio say Lancaster? Lancaster. Well, then who is Lancaster? I know somebody is Lancaster. Nobody here is Lancaster. I just know that I've encountered it before. Or maybe it's one of those like... Well, no, Steve just said that he was Lancaster, which is the same. We're overthinking this. And I'm the only one talking, so I'm the only one, like, verbally. <laughs> so I can make a fool of myself. See, it's one of those things you hear so often, and you're like, I can't, I don't know which one I am. I don't, I've never lived there either, so I've just driven past it many times. Now it's in my head. Which one is it? We say it fast here. Hold on, let me overthink this. Yes, see, that's that's what I do. That's what I'm doing. I think it's because I like to make sure that I get things right. Um... I don't, it's not that I have a fear of being wrong. Well, I guess I kind of do, but it's mostly that, I, like, I, I just like to get, like, make sure that I'm calling people by the right names and honoring, like, where they live and things like that. I overthink the details about everything or I think deeply. Can I, can we call it that? So like, instead of enabling, we inspire instead of overthinking, we think deeply, right? 
It sounds nicer. And being considerate. Thank you. I, my um, last name growing up is, it's Samoan. And so it's not, it was very rarely like pronounced correctly. It was always Americanized, which, which was fine. Like it didn't like really bother me, but having that experience, um, just kind of makes me realize like how much it means when people take the time to try to get it right. Um, even if they don't quite get it right, it, it builds that connection and that bonding. So we say Lincas. Oh my gosh, I need to move on from from Lancaster because now all I'm going to remember is that I have no idea what's going on. Coming from why I don't trust anything you say. You don't have to trust anything you say, but in Ohio is it's like known for having like no accent it has something to do with like that area where i mean obviously not like the country redneck people areas they have an accent but you're like ohio is least swayed accent wise <laughs> sorry becky <laughs> sorry I'm pretty sure our Lancasters came from the UK. Like, that's where almost all the town names come from, it feels like. So, theoretically, they should be the same as, um, as yours. <laughs> Your apologies. No apologies, Steve. We're just, we talk about random things all the time. And it's always fun. <laughs> right. It's, it's kind of like this weird little area where where it's like the absence of an accent, which shouldn't that mean that it just has its own accent, but it, it is, it's kind of weird. We should all say it the way the UK does, except are we going to remember which way that is and which way it isn't? It's probably Lancaster, I would guess, is the UK version because that sounds like a lot of the way that their town names go. <laughs> See, it is. It's one of those places where you can tell if somebody doesn't live in the from the area when you say certain town names wrong.
we have a street um not in my town but on the west side of town um it's either Perham or Parham and I'm still not sure which because people just like to throw out both of them and they use both and and then they make fun of the other group for saying it the wrong way but I'm not really sure which way is the wrong way So I just avoid saying the name of that street. It's convenient. Hi, Tracy. I'm glad you could sleep in. That's not a bad thing. I feel like I should be getting off soon, but the people who changed my plans haven't told me that they're on their way yet. But they were aiming to be here at 10, which is in seven minutes from now, but they're 45 minutes away from me. I don't know. I never know. I've heard of both ways. I love that show. Where am I? Hey, I reached 332. That's good. I'm having an awesome day today. I don't know about that, Tracy. These lives are what's awesome about my days this weekend. I'm just, I just try to be careful about talking about situations that involve other people, even though they have zero idea about this. Like, it's, it's one thing for me to talk about when I have a meltdown. It's another thing for me to talk about how other people are highly inconsiderate of me and always have been. And the stress that it causes. So right now I'm doing great. Oh, this is another leaf right here. I didn't know that, but I'm stitching green in it right now. I was wondering what was going to go in this spot. Oh, and another leaf down here. Here's a green. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, now I'm on my third hour, apparently, since it's been two hours. I can't believe it's been two hours. It doesn't feel like it's been two hours since I started stitching. And I don't mind. Time flies when you're having fun. 
I heard some people say. That's the only relevant part to what I'm doing right here. Because the rest of the song is not really about having fun. But to turn and walk away. You keep telling me that you're not in love. Wanna throw it away. That's another song I haven't listened to for a long time. There is a game that my family used to play growing up. Oh, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> I am I am untrained, but I know what suits me well enough, I guess. Um, we used to play this game called Encore. And it's a musical game where you have these, I guess, categories or words. And you can play individual or teams. Teams are more fun. But you go back and forth and, and you have to sing songs that use that word. And I think you needed like eight consecutive words. So you don't even need to know like the whole song or anything. You just need to know like that phrase that uses that word. <laughs> and we did that a lot growing up, especially in like car rides. We did a lot of singing in car rides. That's probably where I learned like how to remember only sections of songs and then stop. Cause I can't stay away from you. That's how it goes. That's the chorus. Yeah. I don't want to let you go. I was thinking the other day. So what was it? Friday. That we were doing. Um, that Barney into Nick Nick Patty Whack song. Um, and I couldn't remember the first part of the Nick Nick Patty Whack song. It really is the same melody. So you've got, I love you, you love me, right? Um, the other one is, this old man, he played one, he played Nick Nick on his drum. Like, that's why you go from the Barney song to the Nick Nick Paddywhack song is, as so many of us do, we found out. <laughs> it's because it's the same melody. You a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Hmm. 
<laughs> it it made me laugh too. I didn't realize that so many of us would do the same like silly thing like that. <laughs> you started a diagonal on fairy dust by Elizabeth Volker. You're two thirds done on that diagonal. That's nice. Yay for another tent stitching though. The mean version of which song? The Barney song? Ooh, we got some quilt binding going on. I vaguely remember that there is a mean version to the Barney song. But I would not have brought it to mind if you hadn't said anything. And even now I can't really remember it. But that that's like a vague recollection. Hi, Silver Stitches. There is no being late to these things. You are here when you are here. Linen and threads from 2020 and your still in part two. Hey, I just finished Under the Sea earlier this month, and I started that in 2017. So you're good. You're just, you're moving forward. You only need the mean version. See, I, I don't even, I just don't really know it in general. Like, I don't even know the nice version very well. Thanks for joining, Kitty. We'll catch you later. Hopefully. Always hopefully. I was so happy finishing Under the Sea. <laughs> it's definitely felt like one of the most fiddly pieces that I had among all my projects. Anything Amy Salad's basically permanent. It's a great hashtag to use for uh, however long you want to use it. We have a we have a tendency to call everything a stitch along. But like we stitch along for years and years. Bye Alicia. Have a good day. Well, rest of the day.
I really like how these are coming out in the camera. Like just seeing it drip down. I love it. See here. What you like about me is my determination to get stuff done. Well, let's not apply that to the rest of my life. I can do it in stitching. Um, but like, let's not let's not talk about cleaning. I think I like the stitching and I, once I set that goal, like I'm going to go after it. And it, it really does teach me that I can do that. And so I can apply it to other areas of my life. But I just, I like creating things. I like bringing beauty into the world and and I think the problem with cleaning, yes, because yes, cleaning sucks. It's because you have to do it constantly. It's ver it's never finished. Um, whereas like I'm putting these stitches in and I don't have to put these stitches in again. Like tomorrow I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put additional stitches, not redo the same thing over and over again. Ooh, you ordered Birds and Bloom material pack. How long is the wait time for those right now? Like, are, are they still at like that six month mark or three months? Hi, Zan. Oh, I'm glad you got to go to a stitchy meetup. How's the baby? Not very quick to do stuff I don't like to do. Yeah. It's a real thing. Oh, four months. That's not a bad turnaround for them right now. Hi, Angela. I've got messages coming in. Let's see if it's the people who... Nope, it's not the people who are supposed to be coming to my house. Okay. There's that. Unloading the dishwasher. Hey, you know, I would say this is not a bad way to unload the dishwasher. You spent a lot of money, Zan. <laughs> That happens. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I really like my purple hair. <laughs> I keep waiting for the day when I feel like I don't, like I might change it up. And that hasn't happened yet. What did you miss? Um, rainy. Let's see. We were just talking about how cleaning sucks. Hi, Nicole. And goals. We were talking about sticking to goals. 
and that's how we got into cleaning sucks. And then a whole bunch of you just jumped on, like, that's great. So fun. Hi, Antina. We got some Netherlands here now. You have to clean your bathroom? Well, I have to clean my bathroom too, but that doesn't mean I'm doing it. So, good for you. I fully support you cleaning your bathroom. Right now, it is 10.13 in the morning. Oh, you're checking out the Blitz Stitch app? I'm so jealous, Angela. I'm so jealous. You get like three projects that you can track for free. Like, isn't that, that's an amazing uh, amount and you don't have to pay for it unless you want to track more than that. Oh. I really, really hope that he takes on developing it for Android. Bye, Becky. Thanks for joining in. Oh, Ikea today. Well, I think it depends where in the UK and the European countries, like five to seven hours, I think. You paid the extra because you have way more than three projects. Yeah, I would, I would too. I, I hear that it's, um. I hear that it's it's worth it and that it's not that much. Ah, uh, Tracy's got it too. Uh, I really, really, really hope he does it for Android. My Apple device is too old to, to take that one. And Catherine, I know you have it, Catherine. <gasps> You're all making me jealous now. I do use Pattern Keeper. I love it. His app is called um, Cross Stitch Journal. If you go to his channel, his most recent video is a tour of it, and that's well worth the watch. Um, it's, Yantina, it's like a tracking app, so you can track like, like your stitches. Uh, and your time it's got a timer built into it and then what's really nice about his app is that it takes all that data and then translates it into um like um, what's what's the word um he, he he just can he can summarize all the information for you with um, projected finish dates. Um, you can you can see how much time you've put on it. It's all kinds of things. Um, if you go and watch his video on it, that's Brian at Blitz Stitch. And you can also put in like charts that you have as a wish list. So you don't just have to have it started. Statistics, that's the word that I was looking for. 
he can he takes that data and in, interprets it for you and there's graphs it's really cool hi frida am i feeling better i am good right now i'm just no meltdown happening but <clears throat> It's definitely, I'm fine. This whole weekend is, I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. I was not ill. I just, um, on Friday, I had a meltdown. This whole weekend is very, like, stressful and, um, like, trauma reaction inducing for me, <laughs> which is why I've been going live so often is because I really, really needed the balance between what's going on this weekend and like happiness and healthy people to talk to. <laughs> it's fine, Frida. It is totally fine. I actually didn't know how long I would be able to be live today because of um, people who <clears throat> like changed my plans without my consent and now they were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago and they're not. They haven't even told me that they're on their way and they have like a 45 minute drive. So it's good. We're fine. I would much rather be talking to you guys, <laughs> which is what I'm doing. You really, really help. I can't, I can't tell you that enough. I think that's why, like, I get, I get emotional over you guys is because, like, the impact you have on my life is not a small thing. Like, it's a huge thing and, and yeah blast tube is a good distraction like i get it life life happens there are some stressful situations you can't just walk away from or like relationships that you can't eliminate <laughs> And you just, you just have to make it through. That's this weekend. Like, you just have to make the best choice that you can. And my best choice is to make sure that I, like, have these interactions. Do I do other crafts? Um, not regularly, but I can. I like to dabble, but I try not to get too involved because I really like focusing on cross stitching most. There's all thing, kinds of things that I think are super cool and I'd love to try, but I'm trying to just not <laughs> like bobbin lace. I think bobbin lace is amazing, but I've never tried it. Oh, thank you, Sylvie. <laughs> uh, I'm here for you guys, and you're here for me, and we are one very happy community. I do really want to try diamond painting, but, like, I want all the details, so I want to go big. I can't. I struggle doing small things. I want to do like intricate and detailed and <laughs> I can't, I can't do everything big. Thank you, young Tina. Thank you. <laughs> right, Frida? Like, 
I can't. I can't. I know that you can do like bobbin lace with. I don't know. I've seen people do it with like clothespins or something like that, like something or clothes pegs, I think. Just really inexpensive way to try it out. Oh, man. I will just enjoy watching other people make it as well. Oh, it's a blanket. I love it. I always sit with a blanket. That's what this is. It's it's very fun. I like the colors in it a lot. I basically have blankets everywhere in my house, especially in the winter. And it's, I say it's cold, but I know that there's many of you who are in even colder areas. I would die. I don't handle cold very well. I already want to hibernate. And it it doesn't. I live in Virginia. <laughs> like, it's not even that our winters get that cold, which I appreciate. But um, I've never particularly handled cold very well. I grew up in Ohio, which gets colder in the winter. But nothing like, um, you know, Russia and Iceland and all of you very northern places. I'll be honest. I am trying out wool clothing for the first time. Um to help with the cold uh, because I don't I, I really do just want to hibernate but I need to be warm and so far it's helping I just need more of it now so I have a variety otherwise I'm basically wearing like the same dress and leggings all the time because <laughs> of how warm the wool is and comfortable have you gotten snow where you are rainy i know new york was getting a lot of snow Oh, Brita, yes. I've so I've been wearing the same dress. I'm on day today will be day 24. I've washed it. I just washed it yesterday for the second time in those 23 days. It is fantastic. Like, I am testing this out. Like, I traveled. I went to the retreat with this dress. I went to, I was gone for eight days, and I took, like, six items of clothing. And I didn't even wear one of them. Warmth and sunshine. I know Erla was saying yesterday that in Iceland in the winter, she gets like three to four hours of daylight. Which sounds terrible.
Hi, Julia. I'm over 400 stitches. That's good. I honestly thought I would have to get off like an hour ago. Man, I split the thread again. Oh no, I did it. I don't know what I did. Uh, I don't know. I think Josephine Wall needs Max Color the most. Oh. You know those people who were supposed to tell me that they were on their way? They just went into my driveway. Um, which means I need to go, like, right now. <sighs> and there went my stress level super high. Okay. So, I need to go. And I love you all and thank you for joining me and uh, um yeah thank you <laughs> so much love to everybody bye